Here we go, here we are again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode three of the world's best sneaker store. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series as much as I have been. And I do wanna apologize because I promised you guys that there would be a new episode every single Friday, but today is not Friday. I'm still getting the video up, so it's a day late, but I'm, I'm sorry, but here it is. For today's episode, we're gonna be checking out a sneaker store in Atlanta called Premium Kicks. So strap on your seatbelt. Now, I'm gonna show you guys my shopping experience, but. But before we get into that, I want to tell you guys about SeatGeek. Recently, SeatGeek actually sent me to the Travis Scott concert, and it was just absolutely amazing. Guys, if you are a fan of Travis Scott, you need to experience Astro World. And if you did not cop your tickets, you can go to SeatGeek right now and go get your tickets. SeatGeek is the best place to get tickets from sporting events to concerts to anything. SeatGeek is the place to go. Some cool things about SeatGeek, they give you a view of your seat so you know exactly where you're sitting. Each ticket has a grade so you know you're getting a really, really really great deal for a really great seat. And the last but not least thing, you can get $20 off with my code KAIS. So make sure you guys use my code KAIS, save yourself some money on a future ticket purchase, but only if it's your first time. So if it's only your first time, then you can use the promo code. Yeah, I'm gonna link it down below, so make sure you guys check that out. And with all that being said, less talk, more action. Let's go ahead and find out what I copped from uh, Premium Kicks in Atlanta. Back again, another day, another store. We're in Atlanta today, yesterday was sneaker on. And since I'm out here, you know I'm gonna take advantage of it. And today's focus is a sneaker store that I've been to before. Last time I was out here in Atlanta, we did a video with Premium Kicks. Good location here in Atlanta. Really dope store, but I wanna give you guys the full on honest store review. The sign says open. Let's go in there. Oh yeah, don't mind my facial hair because I just did the prank, so yeah. guys so the setting might seem familiar we did do a video here last year like I told you guys so basically there has been a few changes that back section where it says premium kicks that is like their used section so we're definitely gonna be checking that out because I feel like that's where you definitely can get some steals and then obviously you see a whole bunch of clothing you got a whole bunch of stuff over there you got some supreme OVO babe you got all types of stuff all over the store but first off we got to start with the sneakers so we're gonna be going to this section over here and see what they got so let's go all right guys so here we are you got the air jordan ones going all the way over there to the jordan 12 there's one shoe that caught my eye that i used to have back in high school i have not found them dead stock since then and it's these right here and they are actually actually my size it's a mid it's not a high top these are just absolutely memories that's all it is it's not about hype it's not about any of that this is memories to me i didn't know how to get jordans back in the day so your boy was copping stuff like this which was a little limited but not as limited as some of the jordans were back then so this actually might be a pickup so i'm gonna grab this one off the wall let's see how much these are going for the red toes because the prices on these are kind of skyrocketing these are going for 375 that's actually good i saw pairs at sneaker con going for like 400 450 so you got a good price this right here. I believe the Las Vegas Jordan 1s. This is a size 12 275. I'm gonna have to check how much these are going for but they that seems like a good price for a pair of Jordans that hasn't been out for a while. I don't remember what year these are from exactly. OGs are gonna kill me for not knowing the year of a sneaker. Go ahead comment down below. But these are fire. I really like this colorway. Like if this colorway came out again they wouldn't appreciate it. But me I appreciate that. You see that? Fire. Over here we got some sixes. I really like these low top sixes. It's got like a Seattle Seahawks type of vibe. Like for me as a sneakerhead, I have my phases. Sometimes I'm actually always I'm in my Jordan ones, but sometimes I'm in my Jordan three vibe. Sometimes I'll switch over to the sixes for a couple months. So it's just what I'm feeling at the moment. And I think a lot of you guys can relate to that. Honestly, sevens, not my favorite Jordan. I don't have any pairs. I don't think I've ever had a pair of sevens. The only sevens I would ever rock with are the Raptors. And I'll probably wait till they re-release these to cop those. Cool gray 11s. I feel like Jordan's gonna re-release these soon. Size 11 and a half, 460. Let's move over here because we got more options rather than just Jordan. Oh, let's not also forget about the fact that there's a freaking pool table here, which is dope. I always talk about how when I go to a sneaker store, I want that feeling that I'm welcome, that I'm able to hang out with my friends. Imagine you come in here with your boys and you're like, oh, I like those shoes. And your homie likes them too. I'm like, all right, let's play a game of pool. The winner cops the other person some shoes. Chris, we might have to get a game going, and if you beat me, I might have to copy something from here. Are you down? 
Just swear to God. I'm yeah, so we dead. might have to make that a thing. Oh my God, let's do it. I'm All right, actually right we'll do that. Before the video ends, me and Chris are gonna play a game of pool. If he beats me, I'll cop him something. So uh, anyway, let's go back to the wall. Are these my size? No, this is a size 12. Shout out to Harris. Big bang, size 12, dead stock, 450. And I remember when these were going for freaking racks. Not racks, but they were going for a lot of money back in the day. Now they're only going for 450. All right, so we pretty much checked out this whole section. We're gonna be back because we need to do that game of pool. I wanna move over to the used sneaker section. Go over there. All right, guys, so we are currently in the used section and I am excited to see what steals and deals they got going on. In here. First one I'm gonna pick up is these threes. $140, size 11 and a half. Look at that. Condition is, I'll probably say these are like an 8 out of 10. You got a little bit of creasing. Raptor 4s, a recent release. 160. God damn, size 10. 160. Size 15, obviously not my size, but I wanna see how much they're going for. 475. Not bad, not bad. Oh, these. We showed you how much these cost dead stock. Let's see how much these cost used. 125, size 10 and a half. These are the new 11. Somebody really wore these once. 200 dollars bruh look how good of condition this is 200 bucks size 10 pre-owned 165 we might take these home i need these you know why i need these will smith picture 13s red 13s 140 size nine and a half bruh they got steals here denim lebron's size nine and a half 125 what i remember when these were going for crazy prices that is insane lebron south beach size 10 my size 190 replacement box 190 that's actually bruh it's crazy to see these lebrons at these prices because these used to be so hyped and so expensive now nobody's really messing with like nike basketball like they did used they used to that's good for me steals okay guys so as you guys have asked me actually asked me to like talk to some of the owners of the stores and we actually have one here who's going to kind of give us a rundown of like the, the history when they opened as well as like some brands and some stuff that they didn't have out on the floor so go ahead and introduce yourself hello everybody i'm michelle and i'm one of the owners here at premium kicks and what we generally do um for brands that we don't keep out on the floor a client may call me and say they're looking for something that's unique and a little bit more exclusive so I go to the back room and I pull out some brands that I know that is very limited in the market. Price might be a little different, but that's what they're looking for. So that's what I put this rack together for. OVO, you know, this is a, a Letterman jacket. This is from 2019. Really, really nice. Colorway is pretty good, but the price point is being a little bit higher. That's why we keep it in the back. Kenzo, um, European brand. The fit is going to be a little bit more clean fit. It's going to be, it's going to cut a little bit smaller. This colorway, great for the fall. So we keep that in the back dolce and gabbana beautiful a lot of industry clients are looking for these brands off-white um you know virgil is really really doing this thing this is some iceberg vintage they just brought it back probably about four years ago supreme this is something that we're all familiar with but once again because of the price point and us only having one or two of them that's why we keep them in the back all right you ready chris i mean I'll let let's rack them up bro let's go let's get it you're not gonna hustle me, I know you're good. The thing is, with pool, you can get lucky. All right, we're not gonna show you guys the whole game, but let's play for a little bit and let's see what happens. Open out my computer. <laughs> Damn, finally. So Chris is actually holding his own right now. He's got three balls left, I've got one. Damn, he's down to two. Nervous? Shut up, bro. Shut up. Don't talk to me right now. <laughs> <gasps> You're lying. Get away. Get away. Ah. Go, go. Block him. Block him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. You're lying. Oh, my God. Fuck. Oh. Alright, after this. Yeah. Alright. And then... Sorry, fat. Hey, you played better than I expected. Look, yo, you played better than I expected. All right, guys, so unfortunately, Chris could not beat me. Maybe next time. Anyway, let me show you guys what I'm picking up. I'm spending about $1,500 today. But basically, let me show you. I'm getting the Black Supreme side bag. This is actually going to be for Mina. She's been wanting one of these, so I had to grab this for her. I'm going to be grabbing this Supreme tee right here. Love this design. It's a size large. I'm an XL, but let's just say 
that it starts tomorrow. And then I recently just copped the new Calabasas pants in blue and they had them in gray and it's actually a way better color than it looked like online. So I had to cop these. They're going for 200 here. I know I could probably get them for retail online but I don't want to wait for shipping so I'm just going to cop them here. And then sneaker wise, I picked up two kicks. You might already know that I do have the top threes but my brother-in-law has been wanting these in his size and they had them so I copped them for $500. Not the best price but it's also not like flight club prices. And then these right here, this is my personal pickup. These are the classic green Jordan 4s. I used to have these back in high school. I'm taking these over the ones that I showed you just because it's harder to find these than it is those in a dead stock pair. Now these are probably going to start cracking and whatnot but I actually like that vibe. It's like that like this is not a new retro this is a classic and funny story when I did have these in high school they were actually a size 11 but I'm a 10 but I still wore them because that was the only size I was able to get for retail so that's all my pickups now we got to go back to the crib and give you guys my honest review on premium kicks here in Atlanta alright guys so we are back and now it is the time of the show where I give you guys my overall rating and I just literally reviewed the whole episode where I was shopping right here come to think about it I really don't have anything to complain about things that I love about the store was that it had its whole section just for used sneakers. I love that. I know it's not the only sneaker store that does that, but I love the fact that it's com it feels like a completely different store. Like they have so much space in there that it feels like I'm in two different stores. Like one area is just completely used sneakers. And if that's what you're looking for, you know exactly where you're going to go when you enter. I mean, I always mention and tell you guys how much I love when sneaker store have little sections where it makes you feel welcome. And that pool table was just dope. Like I've never seen another sneaker store that has a freaking pool table customer service is very good like not only for myself but when people were coming into the store they were offering them water they were you know asking if they need help obviously because that's great customer service you know I've been to Atlanta a few times and I really haven't been to other sneaker stores don't really care to go to other sneaker stores because premium kicks has it all clothing sneakers so with all that being said man I pff, two weeks in a row man I gotta give them a 10 for 10 like premium kicks kills it I can't honestly I can't think of anything that I would really want to improve I'm trying to be very very honest with you guys trying not to sugarcoat this but I pff, I really can't complain like if I if I would if I can like try to find something that I would change about the store um as always, I'm gonna link the sneaker store's information down below. So social media will all be down below. And make sure you guys follow them, see what kind of steals and deals they do have in their shop. If you live in the area or if you're just visiting, definitely great people that work there. I love the business they run. Next time I'm in Atlanta, I would love to have a pop-up there. So maybe soon you'll see me there again having a public event. So stay tuned for that. All right, so that's it for today's episode of the World's Best Sneaker Store. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I just wanna give you guys a huge thank you because because you guys have been crushing it the last week with the video, with the numbers. Like so many thumbs up, so many comments on the last few videos. I've been bringing back like the skit type vibes and I know you guys really enjoyed that and I really enjoyed it. Like this is really, really what I enjoyed making on YouTube and I kind of went away from that and I'm happy I found my thing again. So definitely more videos coming soon. Actually tomorrow I'm uploading another skit so I'm excited for that and I hope you guys tune into that and with all that being said, I'll see you guys next week on this series with another episode and I'm out of here. Peace.